Heavenly Father, I want to take the time today, right now, to dedicate this episode to the persecuted moms and the lambs that are lambs and that are your children, Father God, as well, that are being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program throughout this world, and also for Christian moms and um, moms that are lambs as well, Father God, that are not being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program, Heavenly Father God. I just want to dedicate this episode to the mother lambs out there, Father God, everywhere in this world, everywhere in America, everywhere in Canada, everywhere in Israel, for all the Jewish lambs, mothers out there too, the Jewish lamb mom out there as well, and the Jewish lamb Christian moms out there in Israel and everywhere in this world. So, I'm going to be praying some biblical scriptures over all the mother lambs today uh, from your word, Father God. I'm going to be praying prayers of Shalom's and Eden's, Father God, over all the mother lambs everywhere in the world. Uh, I'm going to be praying um, from a prayer book by John Eckhart called Prayers That Bring Healing and Activate Blessings by John Eckhart. So uh, from his uh, prayer scripture book I just mentioned, it's a very interesting book and I would encourage any mom out there or anyone out there to buy John Eckhart prayer books. He has several out there that's very good that I bought two of them and I want to buy the rest of them in the future. So anyway, um, precious uh, mother lambs out there, I wish you a blessed Mother's Day with your loved ones and family members today for all the ones that do celebrate Mother's Day out there everywhere in the world or any parts of the world and in America especially and in Canada and in Israel and in other parts of the world and other nations in the world out there for some that do so uh, and even if you don't celebrate Mother's Day I still wish you a very blessed happy Mother's Day anyway to all the persecuted moms and to all the Christian persecuted moms out there and to all the moms that are lambs, which I call all you mother lambs out there, lambs out there, whether you're Christians or not, but you're all the lambs that are being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program. So I want to take the time to pray for you today. And I'm basically praying for all the moms every day, not just on Mother's Day. Uh, So anyway, I just um, lift, Father God, all the mother lambs everywhere in this world, in America, in Canada, and in Israel, over to you, Father. I put them in your hands, Father God, and their lives and their souls over to you in your hands, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and I do ask that you will cover all the mother lambs out there, whether they're Christian or not, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, that you will cover their spirit, souls, and bodies in their lives, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will cover all their children and their pets and their homes and their spouses for the mother lambs that are married, that have spouses, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will cover their homes, Father God, and their employments and businesses for all the mother lambs that do own businesses and run businesses, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ everywhere in this world, Father God. And I ask that you will send your guardian angels to protect and guard these mother lambs everywhere in the world, Father God. And to protect all the mother lambs from all evil, danger, and harm. And to protect the mother lambs from predators that want to prey upon them to hurt 
the mother lambs in any type of way. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that your angels will put an adjudication and eradication to any type of violence and terrorism directed against any of the mother lambs out there from evil terrorists and from evil doers that want to hurt and harm these mother lambs everywhere in this world in America and in Canada and Israel in Jesus Christ's name Heavenly Father so Father God I now want to pray uh, these biblical scriptures over all the lambs mother lambs Father God from this prayer book I just mentioned by John Eckhart Father God and I'm getting my page sit down Prayers for the blessing of Carmel and Sharon over all the mother lambs out there, Father God, that are being persecuted through modern day slavery programs and the ones that are not being persecuted through modern day slavery programs and all the Christian mamas out there, Father, the lamb mamas out there, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name especially. Father God, I thank you that all the mother lambs that are Christians and that are not Christians everywhere in this world receive the blessings of Carmel and Sharon upon their lives, Father God. I ask, Father God, that you, in Jesus Christ's name, Father, I ask that you, Father God, let the excellency of Carmel be upon the lives of the mother lambs everywhere in this world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Isaiah 35.2 Hallelujah. Now I'm going to turn my page and get my page situated. Just bear with me in a minute. I'm here. Father, I ask that you let the lives of all the mother lambs be a fruitful and be fruitful field like Carmel. Be a fruitful field like Carmel. That you will let all the mother lambs lives be a fruitful field like Carmel in Jesus Christ's name Isaiah 35 2 I just wanted to repeat that one over again to say it more clear Father I ask that you let the beauty and fruitfulness of Carmel be upon the lives of the mother lambs that are Christians and that are not Christians in Jesus Christ's name Isaiah 35 2 Father, I ask that you let the lives of the mother lambs be green and flourishing like Carmel and Sharon, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Father, in blossoming me, it shall blossom. This is your promise to the mother lambs because of your kingdom, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. That you are allowing things in the lives of all the mother lambs to blossom, Father God, because of your power and your grace and your love for the mother lambs out there, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, in the kingdom, the promises in your kingdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let all the desert places in the lives of all the mother lambs bloom and come alive like Sharon in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35 2. Father, I ask that you water the lives of all the mother lambs and let it blossom, let their lives blossom like Carmel. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let waters gush forth in every wilderness area of the lives of all the mother lambs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 6-7, Father God, Father, I ask that you let the dry places, Father God, of all the mother lambs out there become a pool, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 6-7, Father, I ask and I thank you that water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams, Father God, in the desert, places in the lives of all the mother lambs, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that the burning sand will become a pool in the lives of all the mother lambs, and the thirsty ground, bubbling springs in the lives of the mother lambs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, according to Isaiah 35, 6-7. 
Father, I ask that you let the mother lambs feed upon the abundance of Carmel. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ, in Jeremiah 50, verse 19. Father, I ask that you let your streams flow into the lives of the mother lambs and let it become abundant like Carmel and Sharon in their lives. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. In the lives of all the mother lambs out there, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that there are no waste places in the lives of the mother lambs, but the lives of the mother lambs is as abundant as Carmel. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let joy and rejoicing increase in the lives of all the mother lambs and the joy of Carmel and Sharon and the lives of all the mother lambs everywhere in this world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the majesty of the majesty and glory of Lebanon be upon the lives of all the mother lambs, Father God, everywhere in this world, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let all the desert places, Father God, of the mother lambs, in the lives of the mother lambs, blossom, blossom as a rose, Father God, in the lives of the mother lambs, that you will let all the desert places of the mother lambs blossom as a rose in their lives, Father God, in the lives of all the mother lambs everywhere in this world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 1. Hallelujah. Now, next page. Father God, I thank you that the mother lambs receive the abundance and prosperity of Carmel and Sharon, Father God, in their lives. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Hallelujah. Father God, I ask that you let the winter season come to an end to the lives of the mother lambs and let the flowers appear in the lives of all the mother lambs, Father God, everywhere in this world. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah, Father God. Thank you for Song of Solomon 2, verses 11 through 13. Father, I ask that you let the lives of all the mother lambs blossom as the fig tree. In Jesus Christ's name. Song of Solomon 2, verses 11 through 13. Father, I ask that you let the lives of all the mother lambs be fruitful like the vine. In Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon. Second, chapter 2, verses 11 through 13. Lord, I ask that you let your fragrance manifest in the lives of all the mother lambs everywhere in this world, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon. Chapter 2, verses 11 through 13. Father, I ask that you let the blessing and prosperity of the myrtle tree be upon the lives of all the mother lambs. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 55, 13. Father, I ask that you let the blessing and fragrance of the pine be upon the lives of all the mother lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 60, 13. Heavenly Father God, I ask that you let the mother lambs flourish like the palm tree. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 92, 12 in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the mother lambs grow like the cedar in Lebanon. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 92, 12. Father, I ask that you let every area of the lives of all the mother lambs grow like the lily. In Jesus Christ's name, Hosea 14.5. Father, I thank you that all the mother lambs receive the fullness of Carmel, the blessing and prosperity of the kingdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, especially coming from your kingdom, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let fruitfulness, that you let fruitfulness increase in every area of the lives of the mother lambs, like Sharon, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Father, I thank you that the mother lambs receive the plenty and abundance of Carmel, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that the lives of all the mother lambs is changing 
and becoming like Carmel and Sharon in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let all the fields of the mama land